and welcome to the award-winning Waterman Wellness, your pathway to health and wellness with local experts as your guides. I'm Jenna Krager. We have a lot of health and wellness information for you in this episode, including a Tavares pediatrician explains what the top health concern for children is and what families can do to keep their kids healthy. Local residents bring needed medical care to a village in the Amazon. You'll learn all about their experience. And find out how specialized physical therapy available here in Lake County is helping patients with Parkinson's disease. First, we want you to know about treatment for prostate cancer patients that is more precise and effective. The treatment, called high-dose radiation brachytherapy, is available here in Lake County only at Florida Hospital Waterman, so patients can get high-tech care close to home. High-dose brachytherapy is a special type of radiation seed implant uh, used for prostate cancer. With the temporary implants, we can modify where the radiation is given off and have tighter control over the dose so there's less dose to the bladder, uh, the rectum, and other sensitive structures in the pelvis. Patients have catheters placed first thing in the morning in the prostate in the operating room. After careful mapping and planning out exactly where and for how long each of the temporary seeds will be placed, uh, the temporary radiation seeds are then introduced into the catheters to specified positions to give off radiation to the prostate gland. We can deliver higher doses to the prostate gland, which can give us better outcome in terms of controlling the cancer. In addition, we can also control the dose to the organs surrounding so patients can have less complications and less urinary side effects than seen with previous methods of seed implants. Dr. Jane explains that HDR brachytherapy may be used with other treatments or alone depending on the level of cancer present. I didn't have any sy symptoms, um, but prostate cancer runs in my family. My father had it. So I was getting PSAs regularly and it started to go up and up and up. The urologist I was going to see recommended that I have a uh, biopsy. Bob East of Leesburg, who is an avid ball player, was referred to Dr. Jane when he tested positive for prostate cancer. When I talked to Dr. Jane, we decided I would do external radiation therapy first, and I got 25 days of that. And then three weeks after that was over with, then I had the procedure. If you're gonna have this procedure, don't get excited about it, because it's no big deal. I had it done on Thursday, Saturday I played baseball. Waterman Wellness wants the community to get ready for a series of events dedicated to breast cancer awareness. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month and there will be a number of opportunities to learn about the disease, including early detection and treatment as well as supporting breast cancer patients and survivors. Florida Hospital Waterman will kick off this month's activities on September 29th with its Pink Out Celebration. The event will include food, vendors, and health checks, and it all begins at 4.30 in the hospital atrium. Lace up your running shoes for the third annual Pink Out 5K Run Walk. That race will be held on Thursday, October 13th at Wooten Park. After pre-event activities, the race starts at 6 p.m. We know early detection is key to breast cancer survival. Florida Hospital Waterman wants to make sure more women have access to this important screening. The hospital is offering $35 mammograms for self-pay patients through the month of October. By eliminating one more obstacle for women that uh, need screening mammography done and cost being one of those barriers in a lot of cases, if a woman doesn't have insurance, then this is an affordable way to obtain a screening mammography exam. There are other ways that we are trying to bring down barriers so that women have an opportunity to be able to reach into our scheduling department, whether by phone or online, to schedule a mammography exam. You can make an appointment that's convenient for you. For those patients who don't have a doctor that they see regularly, we will still accept for a screening mammography exam. We do have a physician that will take uh, the results and, and take on that patient's uh, results after the mammogram's done if that service is needed. Uh, typically the patient will see their own doctor and that result gets back to them. Schedule an appointment online or call the number on your screen. And you can pink out in honor of breast cancer awareness when you purchase a pink flamingo to display in your yard. Florida Hospital Waterman has partnered with Bravo to sell the rosy lawn ornaments. The cost just $10 and flamingos can be purchased at a number of locations throughout the county. Visit the website pinkout.com to find out where you can purchase the flamingos. You'll also find a listing of community events and helpful resources for you and your loved ones. 
Next, we turn to a neurological condition that affects more than 10 million people worldwide. Approximately 60,000 people receive a Parkinson's disease diagnosis each year. More than half of them are men. It is a condition that affects the patient's mobility. Uh, typically, patients have slowness, stiffness, shaking, and loss of balance. It is a disease well researched and well understood by the neurologists and the scientists. And we have very effective treatment which can help uh, patients uh, have a good, productive life for up to a decade. Physical therapy and exercise is very, very important in addition to medications. Because it seems like the physical therapy and exercise seem to re-educate our brain and body about our mobility so that we can stay mobile, stay stable without falling in Parkinson's disease. When patients come to me, I encourage them to join gyms to exercise and whenever it's necessary, I always refer them to physical therapy. Parkinson's patients in Lake County can receive the specialized physical therapy at Florida Hospital Waterman. The four-week program requires a doctor's referral. There is uh, seven specific exercises that is uh, included in our treatment. Um, that is what we call the maxim maximal daily exercise. Uh, which it already incorporates balance, coordination, strengthening, range of motion exercise. And then part of the treatment also is teaching patients how to walk properly, minimizing the shuffling gait and very small movement and also the freezing motion when they walk. If they continue with the treatment, the progression of this disease slows down. Help is available for patients and their caregivers at the monthly Parkinson's disease support group. Held the second Monday of each month, the group provides emotional support and educational resources. Call the number on your screen or visit fhwaterman.com for more information. Our next story is dedicated to a dangerous condition that stems from having an infection. Experts say sepsis, which can be deadly, can occur even after a minor infection. Sepsis is a term that's been with us for a long, long time. And sepsis can describe anything from having a sore throat or an ear infection. You have a bacteria that's not where it should be. You have a white cells that are trying to fight that bacteria to somebody who's overwhelmingly septic. But when the sepsis causes a deterioration of your bodily function, decreased blood pressure, and our elderly patients decrease in mental status. They get very confused and disoriented. Decreased urine output, or they can go into renal failure. Acidosis, uh, your heart can stop working well. All these components together from sepsis can lead to something called multi-system organ failure. And what we know is, is the faster we can get you treated, the faster we can get you resuscitated, the quicker we can get volume into you to maintain urine output, to maintain blood pressure, to decrease your acidosis, the better your chance of survival and recovery. So the treatment of sepsis is varied. Uh, first of all is recognition, that's obvious. You've got to know you're septic, you've got to get help, and you've got to seek help. If you think your loved one, a family member is septic, the first answer is to get them to the hospital. Get them to the emergency department or your primary care doctor very quick and as soon as you can. You can find a specialist to help you and your loved ones prevent infections at fhwaterman.com. It's time to take a short break, but we'll have plenty more when Waterman Wellness continues. A Tavares physician explains how her experience on a recent mission trip was like going back to medical school. Find out how to get your child on the right health track with nutritious meals and snacks. And we'll visit the Conry Creation Health Center kitchen to learn a recipe that is ideal for lunch or dinner. You'll find additional health and wellness information in Waterman Wellness Magazine. Visit watermanwellness.com to arrange for home delivery and you'll also find a listing of the specialists featured in this month's episode. First, you or your loved ones might want to check out these upcoming health events. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the award-winning Waterman Wellness, your pathway to healthy living with help from local experts. I'm Jenna Kreger. 
We turn our attention to a serious health problem that has become a pandemic in the U.S. According to health experts, more than one-third of children and adolescents in the United States are considered obese or overweight. Child obesity is, 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 is probably the epidemic of our times in, a, in the pediatric community, and it's certainly many different factors play into it. Uh, a big factor is overeating and overconsumption of, of calories, and then eating the wrong foods. The other is the lack of enough physical activity. We spend a lot of time indoors, watching TV, playing video games. And if you do not get enough physical activity, you're just going to store all the calories you eat as fat. According to Dr. Diaz, childhood obesity has immediate and long-term effects on health and well-being. Obese youth are more likely to have risk factors for chronic disease such as high cholesterol and high blood pressure. They are more likely to have pre-diabetes. Also, obese children are at greater risk for bone and joint problems, sleep apnea, and even social and psychological problems such as low self-esteem. Modeling good eating habits at home from an early start will help children make those smart choices. Picking that apple versus the apple pie. Picking the, the salad over the french fries. You can find an expert to help you and your loved ones practice a healthy lifestyle by visiting the website on your screen. How about some help with serving your family healthier meals? Today we're joined by Florida Hospital Waterman Chef Jason Boulay and Registered Dietitian Mara Gallo. And today we're making a recipe that promotes healthy aging. Mara, what are we making? Today we're making a spinach potato and rosemary frittata, a nice light breakfast that helps promote bone health. All right, so Jason, tell us how to make this. This is a really, really straightforward recipe. So. We can use potatoes that are already pre-boiled. They're just sliced in about half inch slices and just cook them for maybe 10 to 12 minutes just until they're tender. Once your pan's good and hot, uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, just kind of uh, glaze the pan with a little bit of olive oil. We're gonna go ahead and add our onions and add our garlic. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to cook these onions and the garlic for just about two to three minutes, just until they turn nice and soft. It smells good. It is. So they're starting to soften up now. And so we can go ahead and just add our pre-drained spinach in there. And you just want to go ahead and mix it up real good. While we're waiting on that to go ahead and go, we're going to go ahead and start with our egg mixture. Uh, basically, the egg mixture is simply just going to be some uh, whole eggs, some skim milk, a little bit of paprika, and some feta cheese. And so that paprika is going to lend the flavor without any of the Absolutely. calories or... Finish mixing this up, and then we're just going to go ahead and we'll be ready to assemble the frittata. You don't really want to cook the rosemary too much, so you kind of put that in at the end, just uh, right before you're ready to turn that off. We're going to start by layering in our potatoes. We, uh, this is, like I said, this is something that can really be done uh, quickly and with good fresh ingredients and it's just really, really simple. So now we're gonna go ahead and add our egg mixture in on top of this. And really we just wanna kinda get like a nice little mix. This makes a good complete meal too because you have a carbohydrate, you have vegetables, and you have your protein from the eggs, so you don't even need any other sides with this meal either. This is now going to bake in a preheated 400 degree oven for 15 to 18 minutes. So, there we go. Well, thank you both for showing us this great recipe and let's dig in. If you'd like the spinach, potato and rosemary frittata recipe, visit watermanwellness.com. Nearly two dozen Central Florida residents are back home after spending a week in a South American jungle in July. The group participated in Florida Hospital Waterman's annual mission trip. This year's trip was to Iquitos, Peru. Approximately 23 team members, auxilians, volunteers, family members went this year and we did vacation Bible school. We helped with building a home for a family and we did clinics as well. And so this little town in the middle of the jungle is, is sort of isolated. It is actually the headwaters of the Amazon River. 
So the river plays a very key role in the lives of the people. People do literally everything in the water. In fact, they would have their outhouses emptying in the water. They would fish in the water and they would take a shower or bathe in the water. So everything is done there. The water is not the cleanest and so you can get a lot of infections from that. We brought our entire pharmacy along with us. So we were able to set up in a makeshift things in an empty hallway. The diseases that we saw are totally different from what we see here. The diseases here is disease of, I call it diseases of excess. So you see a lot of um, high blood pressure, diabetes, that's what we see here. But in Peru, we don't see that. What we see is nutritional deficiencies. And for the kids, parasitic infestation. They are anemic. They have possibly deficiencies of vitamin A. They, they have diarrhea. They have distension of abdomen. They have abdominal pain. They're not sleeping. You know, the typical runny nose, etc. Kids. The, the adults would complain of aches and pains all over their body or some diseases that are associated with dehydration like heartburn, etc. We did vacation Bible school literally every day and the kids loved it and we were able to teach them about creation health. So we were able to teach them about taking care of their bodies. For me, it took me out of my comfort zone completely. I had no instruments. There was no CT scans. I don't have a supporting lab. But it actually helps you to um, be more involved and in tune with the patient rather than just saying, walk in the door and say, I'm going to order this for you. It gets you to be, I think, a well-rounded physician. I think a mission trip should be done by all physicians. The people of Peru are very grateful for what we've done because for many of them, they would not be seeing a doctor or have not seen a doctor for three or four months. Florida Hospital of Waterman is true to what their mission is, that their outreach is not only to this community, but their outreach is to other people as well. You can learn more about the Florida Hospital Waterman mission trip by visiting the website fhwaterman.com. We hope you've enjoyed this month's episode of Waterman Wellness, your pathway to healthy living with help from local experts. Be sure to watch for the October episode right here on Lake Sumter TV for some of the following stories. Tune in to learn about important resources in the community to help breast cancer patients and their loved ones deal with the disease. A local orthopedist explains how knee replacement surgery has changed to better help patients get on the road to recovery. And we'll head back to the Conry Creation Health Center kitchen for an incredibly easy homemade tomato soup recipe. To learn more about the experts featured in this program, please visit watermanwellness.com. Until next time, I'm Jenna Kreger for the award-winning Waterman Wellness.